Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to fix out your fingerprint error. This option is currently unavailable. Something went wrong. Try again later. So let's go ahead and proceed with the solution. In the very first step, we're going to start menu and type run. Open run command and type here services.msc and then hit the enter key. Now here services menu, press the W key to find Windows Biometric Service. Here it is. Double click to open it. If the service status is running, click on the stop button to stop the service at once. At my end, it is already stopped. So once it is stopped, head over to C drive, Windows folder. Here open system32 folder and find a folder with the name WinBio database. Open this folder and whatever files are present in that folder, you need to select all of them and choose the option delete. Once they are deleted, go ahead and start the service of Windows Biometric. Once started, make it automatic, click on Logon tab and choose the option allow the service to interact with desktop. Hit apply and ok button. Now close it and restart your PC and check if it is working or not. If the problem is still there, in second method, right click on start menu and choose the option device manager. In device manager, the very first thing that you need to do is to click on biometric device and expand it. If it is not available, click on the view button and choose show hidden devices. Now you need to right click on it and then click on uninstall device. Delete the driver software, check this icon and click on uninstall button. Now open this PC, C drive, windows folder and here find system32 folder. Here find windows bio plugin. Open the folder and here you will find the folder with the name hello face. You need to right click on it and choose the option show more options. Now click on the option install. Now once it is installed, close it. If still the problem persists, you need to this time expand your biometric device, right click on that and click on update driver. Make sure to click on search automatically for drivers. At my end, the best software is already installed. So I'll go ahead and close it. Make sure to update this. Now if this also doesn't work out, Open the settings menu, click on the apps folder, now here click on optional features. Now under install features, type here face. If windows hello face is present, let it be else. Like I have uninstalled, now when I click on add an optional feature, click on view features. Now here when I type face, here it is available right in front of me. Tick mark the option and choose the next button to install face driver in my windows PC. Now once it is installed, as it is saying, don't forget to restart your system. If after following this step, this also doesn't work out, in this left pane, click on the accounts option. Here click on your info and right over here, you will find an option with the name sign in with a local account. I have already signed in with a local account, that's why it is showing a Microsoft account. But if you are signing in with a Microsoft account, you will find the option to sign in with a local account. Choose that option. And once choosing that option, set a password and try to use your fingerprint sensor again. Now let's proceed with the next step. Click on the start menu and type run. 
in run application type reg edit and then hit the enter key. Now in address bar you need to paste a path. I will share this in the description of this video. After pasting the path hit the enter key. Now in this right pane you need to create a new dword value. Choose new, choose the option dword 32 bit value and give it a name hello domain pin log on. Now double click to open it and in value data give it a value 1. Hit the ok button, close the registry editor and restart your system and check if your fingerprint sensor is started working or not. If all these methods fail, the last option we are left with is turning off fast startup by clicking on start menu and type control panel. Here you need to click on power options. Now click on choose what the power button do. Now here click on change settings option and here uncheck the option which is turn off fast startup. Click on save changes. Now go ahead and restart your system. The last hope we are left with is to open your settings menu, choose windows update and if any update are available make sure to click on the download now to make your windows up to date by fixing your driver issue. If this video works out for you I request you to please click on the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon to continue receiving more such updates from my channel.